Alzheimer's disease soaring in this country, big ideas and bold moves will be needed to fight back. But there's also a growing need for the quiet, behind-the-scenes efforts that are so important to the quality of life of Alzheimer's patients and their loved ones. New at 9, our Jim Swift says one such program is now looking for local volunteers as it reaches out to help. Ralph, did you get some coffee? At first glance, you wouldn't notice much of anything unusual about the dozen or so people who come together weekly at Westlake Hills Presbyterian Church. What are the building blocks of writing. But when creative writing instructor Nina Husett asks these men and women to put pen to paper in an exercise, it doesn't take long to figure out what's going on here. Stephanie and I spent our honeymoon in, I can't remember where. <laughs> That's where it ends. <laughs> Don't tell her. <laughs> I, will, I will go home and figure that out. There's still a lot of stigma around this disease, and people are afraid of it. And something, um, something about these folks and the courage that they have to come and deal with it every week and be here and make the commitment to figure out how to cope with this part of their lives was extremely inspiring to me. Gloves. <clears throat> Gloves were important when I was growing up. So many times when I have encountered people and I tell them up front, you know, I have dementia, they look at me like I'm some kind of a wacko and maybe just stepped out of a spaceship. And I tell them I'm not insane, I just have some memory trouble. For 74-year-old Carl Gockley, the free memory loss support program offered each week by age of Central Texas is what he calls a blessing. I get a chance to share without feeling that I'm going to be uh, judged or put on the spot. This is how we unfold ourselves. That's what you're doing when you're writing. You're unfolding yourself. Age of Central Texas runs two early memory loss support groups in Austin and volunteers are needed to expand the program even more. Mm -hmm. And Carl Guckley wants potential volunteers to know they will be doing good and important work. Everybody here has a similar difficulty. I feel safe here. I feel that these people understand me and have a sense of uh, belonging. I'm safe here in, in a very good, healthy way that I don't have to do things I'm not able to do anymore. In Westlake, Jim Swift, KXAN News. And if you know somebody who could benefit from the Early Memory Loss Support Program, or if you would like to volunteer, you'll find the Internet links you need on our site right now at kxan.com. Just click on this story in the Austin Headlines section.